Hello everyone, Peter here. Just want to address a few concerns people have had. They've touched base with me wondering whether some of the problems are going to, that they've had with the 1KD engine that were transferred through to the 1GD or what, and what Toyota has done to rectify those issues. I'll touch on one, one of them at a time. This one I just want to touch on the issue that 1KD's had with blocking oil pickups in both Hilux and Prado. This is obviously a Hilux just to compare. Obviously the oil pickups are very similar, that on different sides but very similar. So I'll run through why 1KDs were so good at doing this. The 1KD injector obviously was mounted underneath the rocker cover. So it was internally mounted. With the 1KD, the sealing washer is at the bottom. The earlier ones had a copper washer which did cause quite a few problems. Toyota did do a recall on that, but you do, do still see some floating around. The later model aluminium ones don't cause any issue, in, nowhere near the issues that the earlier ones had. So, but. What a lot of people didn't realise is when this lost its ability to seal and then you let combustion temperature go past that and up the side of the injector, there is an O-ring here that was designed to stop the oil travelling down. Once you had compression temperature hitting that O-ring, it then cooked, turned hard, lost its ability to seal. That allowed oil to travel past the O-ring, get into this section here where it then combined with the cylinder temperature. Um, that was being created obviously by the engine and basically cooked the oil. Whenever you burn a fossil fuel, you then produce carbon. So what we had was oil traveling down, being burnt, turned to carbon, and then compression pressure blowing it back up to send it up the injector. One of the big reasons 1KDs were so good at blocking pickups is a lot of people don't realize, halfway down the injector hole there is a port. I've just used that zip tie to show you. Down there, that port then traveled under here for the return oil to travel to the sump. So basically, once the injector started producing that carbon, it would travel up, go through the port, that port, we return to the sump, and then obviously oil suction would then draw it across the pickup and block the pickup. With the 1KG, 1GD, sorry, completely different in the design that the injector is now externally mounted. So it goes through the tappet cover, not under the tappet cover, with the sealing rubber down here. They've also moved the O-ring from being quite low on the injector with a 1KD up to the top here to keep it away from the heat. So therefore, will stop, uh, will make it life span last longer. So if any of them, if they do leak, or if it was to start producing carbon on a 1GD, it would be externally visible. So that, that's quite a, um, a leap forward in design. As always, if there's any way I can help or you've got any other questions or whatever, please give me a call. Thank you.